Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the new features added to the automation window as of version number 1900. We've made some improvements to the feedback and the assignments you can do within the automation window. So to get started, we're going to come up to macro here. We're going to go to the view automation tab up on the soft buttons. I already have a series of automations in here. Nothing has changed as far as how to assign and create your automations. However, a few fields have been added and changed to make things a little bit easier. The first thing is the state field has been added to show you the current status of your automations, whether they've been fired or triggered. So we have a series of MIDI notes connected to my MIDI controller here. I have various activations or functions as far as activating playbacks, stacks, individual queues, and execute screen queue stacks. They're just on faders, set as activate, release, and levels. Starting out, we have a playback here. If I bring the fader up, you'll see we activated playback two. And you'll see that it tells me right now my fader is at 35% and I'm currently in queue one. If I were to bring up the next one, which is activating a Q stack, you see that it's being told to activate the par chase. In this case, it's being told to do the first Q. It's a chase, so we can leave it on first Q. And again, as I bring my fader up, we'll see a status. And it'll tell us what Q that chase is currently in. If we were to change this off of a chase to just a normal Q stack, something like what we have down here, which would be Q stack number 110 in this show file. We can say we would like to go to Q, Q ID number three. And when we bring the fader up, you'll see we're activating Q3 right off the bat, rather than starting at the beginning of the list. In addition down here, we have turning on a single Q in and of itself. So no stack, no playback, just a Q in the Q store. And this time we've chosen a specific queue. We bring this fader up and you see that our queue is active. So we can turn on our queue over on top of our playback and then fade out our playback. And now we have control of the fixtures just from the queue level. In addition to that, we can trigger and set the level of execute items. So here we're setting the level of the executor that is in execute page number five, box one, E1, which is a circle effect. So when I bring my fader up, you'll see it tells me it's active and I can control the level of my circle. In this case, the fader is set to control the size of the effect. You can see I can size the effect down and up at will. In addition to this state box, they, we've also made it easier to see the things that are contained in these automations. If I wanted to view Q number 248 here, I now can click on the line in the automation window and go up top here to view item. What view item is going to do is it's going to take me directly to that queue. You see now we're in queue 248, the fanned queue, and it's going to show me what's there. This works for queues and stacks within the desk. If we go back to our automation screen and I click on playback 2, for example, and I'd like to see what's contained in playback 2, again, I could hit view item. And we'll be taken to CS131 on playback 2, and I can see the queue that's contained within. And from here, I can do the normal things. I can view the queue and its contents, just like I would if I were to double click on the playback itself. Another small addition outside of the automation window is the ability to release a queue stack using the end box here. In previous versions of the software, you had to either hit the release button down here or assign your pause button to be released to release the queue stack. You've always been able to go into a queue stack, select the queue you'd like to see and tap enter to activate that queue. Now in the same way, we can release our queue stack by clicking the end box and tapping enter. And it will release the queue stack honoring whatever release time that stack currently has assigned. Hope you found this useful. 